Hello, so today I have another charity shop haul, which actually my wife found for me. Um, so uh, get some look at some new source material for that. I've actually used the they're not in this pile, but I've actually used some material from a, co a couple of these books already to plot out a couple of pieces and one that I've actually made. So that'll be one for another well, a couple for another couple of videos. So. So we have here from these, and they're all from book series, same book series. This um, um, kids knowledge books called uh, First Starts, and each book is of a set of a different subject. So, and what's good about them is the if you look at the quality of these illustrations here. So, firstly, they're they're of a Re reasonably good, uh, good size so i could do um and i have the wooden so i have done uh plotted out one of them is actually the full page size so i move these to one side actually so i can well, i wanted to show you the the size of the pile and there's two extra two or three extra books in another room where i've started to work on so this is a good picture of the earth that can be used this yeah i can pull out all of those these are good bits that could go in other pieces but some of the pages here you have and not so much with this one you do have some full-sized like that it's a really good full-sized page image that you could do things with or just take stuff out these are always uh, these um, these uh, space images backgrounds are always good for um, a piece of artwork you can good bland good landscape of Mars there again this a collage itself because none of those it was a well I'd call it a photo composite so none of the these are all individual shots of uh, Jupiter and it's and the four Galilean moons and they're all uh, composited in together I mean that's good to be used with something of that also these pages here are also good for backing and you've got a good deal a good price on these so you have all these here I mean that's good that's a really good image to do stuff with And all of those are good for uh, these are um, ones of like uh, volcanoes going off, uh, um, erupting even. Uh, very always always very good for um, to have uh, if you've got like an, a door that's been opened or looking through a window, you know, because uh, is quite a common thing. You could argue if you want if it's too and got too common to have uh, you know the calm suburban inside. Uh, uh, to subvert that with uh, something something disruptive on the outside or just weird so all these are and this is the basic the kind of standard that you have throughout all of them I've looked through all of them so far and so like I said I've already come up with like at least three pieces two one's been made and two I have to still have yet put together so and they're both very simple pieces so this kind of page yeah you could put a lot in if you wanted to make a really busy busy collage which um isn't quite so much my style well, i have done some fairly busy ones but not you you find some really insanely busy pieces i mean all these pictures of animals are good to be put in to places where they shouldn't be i mean this is a good image with lots of potential because you always always have stuff going i always like to like the idea of having somebody in the foreground looking outward and oblivious to what's going on behind them or at the very least just okay with what's going on behind them so again that's a very good image on its own that one as well because you could have something coming out of there obscure just obscure that with something some of the time, some of the some of the additions I have um, 
in pieces is just uh, it's just a uh, like cover up things like text. So obviously, if I was doing it digitally, I could just go over it with Photoshop, but <clears throat> this kind of thing is not being done digitally. So yeah, so all these are really good. There's a lot of uh, massive because there's lots of different subjects. There's a lot of variation with the images, so you could just you could make a lot of uh, a lot of pieces. I mean, that's a very good piece to do something with already, because that is just that is just interesting itself. You know, the way the way the bodies pose. You know, the the hilarious uh, um, facial expression of someone trying to lift something very heavy. It always makes good faces, but yeah, you could have, I could have this all the books from this series and, and make a whole load of uh, pieces just purely from these books and not going anywhere else. So, so what is this? I mean, this is good to do stuff with. And that I always like to do things with hands, put hands in artwork as well. And that's very good, the one with the welder. Of course though you'd have to remove if you were to put stuff behind there, you'd have to move out a lot of the sparks. But you could put you could probably try and put something under um I know it's not welding, it's grinding. Uh but uh, yeah, you could put something under the grinder. So because that could also actually just go on top of something and that could, you could extend the piece further down, even. With something. So there's that. And this one, there's also one, uh, there's one on um, site that I've uh, mined a few pieces from. I mean, that's good, um, from the word go. So I'd be doing this, I'll be using a lot more photographic type pieces. But the, the way they're drawn, it's not quite so jarring if I was to actually mix um, photography and um, actual drawing. If you see them together, mixed together like this. So, there's also sorts of things you could do with that as well. So these, and like I said, I've got another pile here. Once to go through, I won't bore you going through all of them, but you can find this book series. These, uh, these seem to be a bit of a gold mine of uh, images that you can use. So, so in this country, I know in, in places like America and Canada and so forth, you can get a lot of the vintage National Geographic easy. And same with Poppy Monkey. So there's old vintage 40s, 50s, 60s uh, type uh, uh, material. So it's, a, it's a, quite a bit harder over here in the UK to get that. Especially now. I mean, like about 20 years ago, it would have been a lot easier. But, um, so, I hope, uh, see, see what you think. See if you can find these. So they're made by, they're made by people called Watts Books. And they're not actually that old, actually. I think these ones, these come back from, uh, these were printed in, first first edition was 1991. So only like, only 33 years ago. Um, so, um, but it was after this point where things, because I want to go through some charity shops now. I mean, we've got a good haul here, but um, some of the, some of the kids books that usually have good, Kids' educational books usually have good illustrations. They're more, you know, they've uh, they've been donated by somebody who's who has a child, and they've um um uh, you know they've just outgrown them, so they're very recent, and they're not they're not as richly illustrated as these are. And there's also I look at the whole copyright issue of this is the further back it goes. Unless you're talking about someone really big like a Disney or a Coca-Cola or so forth, where or somebody has their, where you got a set of images that um, 
are very well known and, uh, the, and people are still reprinting these things a lot and uh, they're unknown for sight. I wouldn't touch any of the nor usually much touch on anything so like the Norman Rockwell stuff because that's all known and uh, there are there are people who um, whose fortunes are built upon this so these people are more likely to be litigious something like this the chance, the chances of them a coming across your work, unless you're a very famous collage artist, uh, are fairly negligible, and also they do. The chances of them suing are even less, are vanishingly small. So, and um, but I, you know, I do use some more recent photographs from National Geographic, but I, I'm not sure how litigious they are. I don't particularly feel uh, up to actually challenging that but i think it's just safer to use some of these older stuff and you know the, the quality of images uh, that are used are a lot better anyway you're more likely to get a full a sort of bigger sized image nowadays with um with um with these kind of pictures uh these kind of books you would have the you would have a lot of this you'd have a page that's full of stuff like this but the text would always be kind of over the image, so it's kind of un become unusable. I mean, the, the stuff on this page, obviously, all of this would be something that would be inserted into something. It wouldn't be the, it wouldn't be the, you know, carry the image by itself. But yeah, so have a look out for these. See if you like them. See, um, I'll see what I can come up with the some of these, and you'll be seeing some of them in. In the near future, in fact, you can see one of them on my Instagram. A piece called "Why Do We Breathe." Um, that is one of the ones that came from that. So check that out. Have a uh, like, share, and subscribe. Have a look on my um, my in my description the bio. It has um, my or well, the description as it's called now. Um, they have uh, as the my link tree, which has merch links to my socials, and uh, obviously comment and uh, on it because that helps me with my algorithm and liking it shows some kind of uh some kind of interaction because that's what the that's what youtube youtube seems to like and i shall hopefully hear from you soon thank you